Back on the new KOP TV, the King of Prussia channel. My name is George Brewstar alongside Tony Selickson, who I was just saying during the break, telling Tony, this could be your chance. I was going to give you a little more leeway to be host. This is your chance to be like the next Tom Snyder or something. We are here. It is our inaugural telecast. Merry Christmas to you. It is our annual cr Christmas show. Uh, you're saying, well, how is it annual? It's your first ever show. We used to do this a long time ago, and we talked about that earlier. So enough talk about the past right now. Uh, I want to talk about the future and some of the things we're going to be doing here on the channel get a little more in depth we mentioned politics we mentioned movies and sports we haven't talked much about music and that's going to change right now joining us Mike Trito Mike I'm glad you're here welcome to KOP TV Mike you and Tony uh, go back a bit of a ways yes, Mike you own a very popular rehearsal studio just across the river in Norristown. Tell That's us right. all about it. Yeah, I provide a place uh, safe where the musicians and artists can come and they have their own spaces and they can stay there 24 hours a day and just keep writing music and rehearse it and practice it. And Tony shot videos back in the day when you needed so much equipment to shoot the videos. And now we got in contact again. He moved some stuff from VHS that he did before to CDs and DVDs, and now we can put it right on the internet just like that. And I'm relying on his creativity is unbelievable. I have 2,000 videos, so I'm hoping if we get 100 good ones out of that, and uh, it's working. It's, it's, it's working very well. I so say. what you're saying is with all the new technology, nobody really needs Tony for anything is, is what you're saying. Actually, right? we do. We do need yeah. Tony because he has he's got the creativity. Like, he's on yes. the phone and he's a multiple, t you know, he can test. He's got everything going on and he understands completely what I want because I have the music and he cuts all my craziness out of the 2,000 videos. I just start him off what I want and let him go and it's been working perfect. I'm very happy with the videos. We have... Uh, uh, I think he did 10 already, um, and it, I'm really happy with it. His work is unbelievable. Plus, my music's behind it, and it's all my craziness, and uh, we're trying to get people to laugh and smile is what I want. My basic thing, if I can get someone to laugh and make them smile for a second, I've done my job. Now, I mean, anybody can work the equipment, of course, and some people are really good at certain things and different elements of the creative process, but Tony, I think what you're saying is Tony's got that vision, he, he, and because you guys work together and have for a while, he knows how you click, and you know how he clicks, and you guys can pretty much uh, crank out some, some neat stuff. Tony, why don't you tell us, uh, give, me, give, me, give me an example of, let's say Mike calls you up and Mike says, okay, I've got this project, you know, we've got this band and uh, this is the type of music it is and, you know, I'm kind of hitting a brick wall as to what we do with the video. Give me an example of something, or maybe Mike, you would, maybe I should ask you, give me an example of something Tony has come up with that has just blown you away. Uh, he picked videos that I didn't even know existed. He found stuff on my site that I don't even know it's there because I've got a little flip camera I have. I have 1,800 videos on the one and I'll run into the rooms at all hours of the night. It's 24 hours a day and most of the time they get scared and they'll cringe or I'll just scare them. And uh, he's captured it, parts of videos that I don't even know existed. No, I'm sorry, he's when you say them. videos though, I mean... What, what, I have a flip camera which I just go into the rooms 24 hours a day because it's my building. Right. And I'm like a nutcase running around. And oh, so I, I as train. the bands are working, you're just They'll getting... Playing. I'll just, oh, I'm oh, glad that I'm oh, there oh, because a lot of times when my band would play, I wish somebody was there to capture it because four o'clock in the morning, you might forget what song you played and have an original and you don't remember the next day because you're smoking, drinking, and every, there's so much going on that by the time everybody leaves, you wake up the next day, you might have forgot the hook from the song that might have been a hit. And I know a lot of folks who aren't really in tune with perhaps the creative process, or who don't do this for a living, they may wonder, well, why on earth would you need a recording? I can see why Wawa's open at 3 o'clock in the morning, but why uh, a rehearsal studio? And, uh, you know, as no doubt some folks know, sometimes the best things happen in the middle of the night. So. By accident. Most yeah. of the hit songs are done by accident. Best, the best commercials. Everything is not timed perfectly all the time. Yeah. That's why I bust in and you see the looks on her faces. And we'll give you a few cuts and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about because the musician might be into it deep, but I don't usually try to bother them when they're recording. Right. But if, it, if I can come in, and if they're out of tune, I will come in with my snake, and that'll show them that you're off key, <laughs> and that's it. You get penalized, actually, when you play <laughs> when you play bad at my studio, you're gonna know it. Now, there is certainly a difference between a rehearsal studio and a recording studio. Do you have both, or can it be? We have, you, we have you, both, you're but most of, of the guys, actually, um, they record themselves now because Basically, they'll come in my room to do, do the drum tracks 
And with the computers, like you said, what's available nowadays, they can actually record in their own rooms. And if they want, I have everything there available for them. And um, that's what we do. This is basically a place to give them their own space where they play so much differently there than they do live. When they're in their own space, the rooms are basically this size. And when they're together, they're more relaxed and they play differently. It's, it's a lot different than when they play out live. So it's not a stodgy environment. It's a very comfortable environment no, where I the creative things. juices can flow. I have a 10,000 square foot building with, uh, uh, actually you, you could say I'm a hoarder, but I'm actually an antique collector. And they enjoy that because there's so many settings. I have photographers coming in now with models and they're using my mannequins. And I'm so glad that they're using the things that I have and they're shooting Wild West vid, you know, shots with the models and using my collection for the photos, which is, I am so happy now I know why I've been saving all this stuff for all these years. You see, I've been saving junk for years and years, and I, I, I never thought I'd be able to use any of it, and I still haven't, but you, at least it's actually They're worked props. out for I you. I have my own prop company involved, and I don't even know it. We have vintage stuff from the 1800s you can get dressed up to and sit there with George Washington. We're going to wear the, the things and sign the independence, and I have all the old pens and the whole thing, and then you could jump right to the modern area because I have 1970s, 1800s all the way up to the 2000s collection. The, the mix is unbelievable. And you did say 10,000 square feet. I didn't misunderstand that. You yes, did say 10,000 square feet. And I have over 100,000 in the building, which is unbelievable. I mean, it's amazing. And now I, I want to know how many people watching, uh, including myself, I didn't know this, how many people watching had any idea that a facility like this existed so close to King of Prussia? You're right over the Dan Howard Bridge, right yeah. on the other it's side. A, it's a private studio. We don't have a sign. So you can go to Mike Trito on Facebook, which I don't want to push Facebook so much, but it's simple. Mike Trito, Studio Green. You can get an idea of my craziness and what Tony's done and how it's all working together and it's coming together. It is T-R-I-T-O, correct? Mike, Mike? T-R-I-T-O, Mike Trito. You'll see Studio Green. Click on it. I'll friend you if you're normal, and I'll let you in. No, what what is the normal. barometer for determining who is and isn't normal? Well, Would I have made the cut? James is out of his mind. I met him for 30 seconds, and I know James, the helicopter thing. Now, actually, he's going to be a part of it. We're all going to be a part of it. Everybody's creative, and that's what we want. As long as we can make you smile for a second, I've done my job. And uh, I don't know if we have time. We only have about a minute left in the segment, but I really did want to mention something that I neglected to bring up before. You were telling me off camera about something that you're, you and Tony have been working with, a really special project. Could you, is there any way you can tell us about it in a minute? Yeah, it's Smile for a Soldier is what I want to do. We're going to make a series of 10, and everybody's involved. I have 20, 30 bands. I have the firemen, the police. Anybody that I just bust in with my camera is willing to work with. I'm kind of get Risa Furman. She's probably going to have me arrested next, but I will get her. And anybody's involved, as long as they make these soldiers smile, we're going to have a bike race, the zoo. Let's say I can use the animals. We're going to ride around. And what I want to do, I have so much talent in my building, it's unbelievable. The Philadelphia area is so large, but most of the best musicians are actually from around Philly, and I have them all captured in my building. It's unbelievable the talent that is there. But these are videos that you're going to be sending to our service well, manager? No, they're here. We're all going to get together, okay. and this is all going to be a part of it, which is great because you can shoot it and actually edit the things and, that are good and bad, but we want to save everything. The bloopers are going to be unbelievable. I can just tell the James, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it's, it, I have the musicians. I mean, which is great. I have all the musicians a block away. You yeah. know what I mean? We're right down the street. You can coast down the hill. Like you said, you guys are the nucleus. You have more money going on in King of Prussia than, than uh, you know, Vegas. Uh, we are in a great area here, and this is a perfect spot to do everything. And it, we could be mobile, because you know what I mean? I bring it to him on this little teeny camera, and he can make it so much better. It looks like a Hollywood and, production. Yeah, so right. we have all the talent we need right here. We just need a place. Well, disperse it. Well, well, without doubt, you'll all be hearing more about this uh, in the coming weeks and months with us. Mike Trito, thank you. It's Mike Trito. You can find him on Facebook, T R Mike T R I T O, and it's Studio Green in Norristown. And no doubt you'll be seeing more of Mike here on the new KOP TV. When we come back, we'll have one more guest, maybe two. I'm not sure, but we'll be back. Let's remember, smile for the soldiers. <laughs>